Hi, it's Yvonne. So, thrift with me. I did try to do that version for this haul, but it was really crazy that day. Um, I've got like a minute and a half of footage. So, here is the haul. Here are the highlights. So, okay, let's start with the big stuff so I don't knock it over, right? This nice vase. Um, no markings on it. I don't know what to say about it. You know, I'm just learning a deeper dive into vintage and vintage glass and things like that. I do love art glass myself if it has nice design, more so like geometric and things like that, not too flowery. But anyway, so what I know about this so far is this is cased glass and this is called window or you can, let me show you, or you can see through it. The pontal has been nicely smoothed out. It's very heavy, nice quality. So I don't know anything else about it. I don't know about how much it's worth. I think I'm just going to keep this though. I um, My husband buys me flowers every week. He has since we've known each other. So I always have flowers and I like art glass. So I tend to use my love of art glass for unique vase, vases. But this is really nice, and there's some things that I learned about it. Let me put that down here so I don't break that. And then another one, I think this is called Control Bubbles. There's no markings. It does have a smooth, you know, the little pontal area is smooth, nice and smoothed out. I um, couldn't find anything like it, so I'm going to assume it might be just an art project. It does have a slight pattern in it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there. It does have a slight pattern in it. I saw some shapes similar, but without seeing this pattern in it as well, I didn't feel comfortable like attributed, attributing it to any certain artist or company, and it's not marked, but it was $1.50 half price. So again, I may put it up for sale because it does have a unique orange yellowy color. Um, maybe someone, you know, needs this to fill in their little decorating scheme, or I may just, again, keep this for myself for a while. But not bad for a dollar fifty, right? Um, when I go to the thrift store to buy, you know, vases for myself, I never buy, you know, the cheap glass stuff. I always wait until I find something really pretty and unique that um, maybe is resellable when I'm done with it, when I'm done looking at it or want to switch it out but I've got maybe about 12 nice glass unique glass faces in my collection for myself um this is round this paperweight is not really a paperweight it's totally round so let's get this out of the way because I can't set it anywhere and it's in my Pyrex bowl so um this was $2.49 not half price but this is $9.11 and I'm not going to leave a 911 piece, take a chance for it to end up, you know, thrown away or in the bins. Let me see if we can, it's etched inside there. A couple of soldiers, American flag, and it says 911. So I'm going to try to find this a home. I might try to find something cool, a nice, cool, um, high quality maybe crystal candlestick a one-off a loner at the thrift to maybe offer with it because it needs to go in something it does not have a flat edge like a paperweight okay but i think some of you would agree to rescue this and hopefully find it a home right two dollars and 49 cents um <laughs> okay so another fairy lamp <laughs> again if you saw the red one that I got, which was a Viking, I think this is a Hawking, I believe. I'm just going to keep it. They don't sell for a whole lot, not these generic, and forgive me for using that term, for lack of a better word, generic. This was $2.50, but now that I'm taking a deeper dive into vintage and everyone talks about fairy lamps, fairy lamps, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to have a couple of fairy lamps in my collection for a while. Um, 
I always thought they were just something with a piece missing or something broken. You know, I'd see them all the time, but I'm like, well, I don't know what this is and I don't know what's missing. <laughs> but anyways, I'm pretty sure this is a Hawking. Um, but I like the, the round. The other one, the Viking red one was, you know, the kind of the common ovalish, taller one. So I'll add this to it and I'm probably not going to add any more fairy lamps to my collection unless it's really super unique. Um, and I probably won't buy them to resell unless it's really super unique. I think for your, again, forgive me, generic, I hate to say that, for your typical fairy lamp, let's say that instead. Um, I think they're only like, resale's only like, what, $10, $15? Okay, but I'm showing you everything. I fell in love with these. I'm like, these have to be something. They're probably not too old. Maybe 50s, 60s at the most was my guess, my educated guess. I'm learning quickly. Um, no markings. Cobalt glass. I liked the, you know, kind of, I won't say art deco, but, you know, geometric pattern. But these are Hazel Atlas. Hazel Atlas glass, I learned, does have some resale value. This little set is probably only about $15 because there are quite a few on there. But, I, again, I'm going to keep this. But Hazel Atlas is another glass name that I learned, and some of it is, you know, more valuable. This is beautiful, right? I'm going to keep this. This will fit in with some of my modern pieces as well. I can co-mingle this, and it'll work out nicely. But teaching, sharing what I'm learning, okay? Sharing what I'm learning. Okay, <laughs> let's get to this. Instagram and my favorite new group that I joined for vintage um, Crazy Lamp Ladies group. They all went gaga over this. I knew this was a good find. Um, first of all, I don't even hardly find Pyrex at my thrift stores. The Pyrex stuff goes very quickly, uh, apparently, or no one donates it. I don't know what the deal is. But I paid $4.99. It wasn't half price, but that's okay. It was a good deal. I'm pretty sure they just put it out because it was not the sale color. It was the current color. Plus, they had to have just put it out or it wouldn't have been there <laughs> for me to find. But it was sitting like this, and it was on a top shelf, and I am tall. I'm a tall girl. So I went, oh, look at that. And um, this is called a prince, or Princess. No, Cinderella. This is called Cinderella, this shape. This is turquoise swirl, turquoise scroll, sorry, I just learned it. Let's start over. Turquoise scroll, Cinderella bowl, and it was made in 1959, and apparently just that year only, and not as easy to find. So everyone's telling me, keep it. I think resale value on it currently, this is in very good condition. Resale on it currently is somewhere around 40-ish. And I'm probably going to keep this because already one of the daughters is eyeing it. And so I'm going to keep it for a while and then I'll probably pass it on to her. She's kind of like me. She mixes a little bit of vintage in with some modern stuff um, and, and with the Harley stuff. <laughs> so um, I've given her a couple other cool, unique pieces because she loves to cook. She's She cooks way more than I do. So I will probably enjoy this for a while and then pass this on down the line. Okay. But. This went over really well. I'll let you look at it again. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh. So I was happy about that. You know, as a reseller, I think I've said this before, there are just some things that maybe they don't bring a lot of money, but like as a professional reseller or just having fun with it, you kind of have like this bucket list yourself of things you've seen other people sell and you're like, oh, I want to find one of those out in the wild too, either for myself or to sell. So I do have that too. So I'm checking off fairy lamps now. I can check off some cobalt. I always have a hair on me. Check off some cobalt glass and a nice Pyrex. Okay. Speaking of Pyrex, I also found these two glasses and they do say Pyrex on them. I haven't looked them up any further, but I think I thought, well, if they're not worth too much, um, I'll keep these two. I have two of them. It's a, they're a pale green. They do have some, you know, not too much of the dishwater, whatever, hazing. Well, I'm still, I still need to remember what to call that, but they do have some scratch marks. But 
because they're not too frilly, this nice, you know, just geometric pattern, I thought, well, if these aren't too valuable, which I'm sure they're worth something, right? Um, I'll just keep these because, again, that's how I have fun. I don't want to have a bunch of knickknacks setting everywhere, so I just keep my collections very limited. And I enjoy, I collect art glass that I can like use, like my vases I like, explained and different kinds of plates and stuff. So like, you know, I, I may only have two just for me and my husband, but that's okay. And every time I go into the cabinet, I'm like, well, what mood am I in today? What color should we use? <laughs> So if I don't sell these, I'll just keep those too. But they're really pretty. Um, I don't know if that's coming through. Sometimes they just look like a pale green, almost clear. Sometimes the edges grow as glow as if they're like uranium glass. I didn't put it. You no, know, I didn't put my. I don't think Pyrex did that right. No, I don't see anything with my purple black light. I don't know if Pyrex even did anything like that. I'm still learning stuff. Ooh. Hang on, I want to put these back in the wrapper if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, how much were they? $1.99 a piece. I really like these. And so somebody might, you know, these might have some value. We'll see. Showing you what I got. Okay. Protecting some things here. Let's get these mugs out of the way. Hey, you can still make money with mugs. I was just involved in a conversation where someone was like, you know, I'm trying to sell mugs. Look, I've been in the reseller community a long time, and most of us that have, we know that a lot of people, their entry into reselling on eBay, let's say, is t-shirts or mugs, <laughs> because mugs are usually pretty affordable. T-shirts are too, and they will sell. Now, eventually you kind of, as you grow in reselling, you eventually kind of are like, well, I want to sell things with a little more profit. And the Starbucks heyday is kind of over. They're limited to only a few styles of Starbucks now that bring, you know, decent money. We There were a couple of years where we were all making some good money on um, flipping Starbucks mugs. Anyways, there's still money to be made in mugs. In that thread, I just posted, you know, I did sell that Deneen Pottery Death Wish Coffee Mug. I did, I found a little flaw on it, nothing too major. And it looked like from the factory because it was under the glazing. So I did take a best offer. I negotiated $100, but still, right? $5 into $100. So there's one thing. Um, and then I sold, I did sell the Illy. It was a collab with a artist, Pedro Alamordro. <laughs> I don't know. If you follow me, you've already, you saw me buy them. You saw me list them. You saw them sell already. So there are still mugs that can be sold. And I sold another mug. It's been years. So I can't remember the name, but it was from England. I don't even know how I knew, but it was $50. So definitely if you like mugs, if you like the mug life, don't give up on it. There are, you know, just keep learning. Anyways, I found a couple that, you know, are worth a little bit more than $10. This brand is good. Now, wait a minute, let me pause for a minute. That wasn't very long if you're learning like me. Okay, there it is. Um, research showed me that this one says Spain on the bottom. Some of them are Germany. The ones that have some kind of icon or some kind of, um, you know, an animal or event or something, some of those will do more, like $20, $30. This is just a plain one, but um, I wanted to familiarize myself with this. It was only $0.99, cents and I bought a red stoneware bowl that I just am fascinated by the color. No name on it, but it matches this unique shade of red perfectly so um although i wanted to share because this is a good name that i learned when i looked it up and it's definitely resellable mug so if you're want to learn like me scroll through the solds and the listed and see all the unique patterns that this company makes you know fun whimsical serious um some of them go for a lot more money and there's other things they make anyways i'm keeping this one to add to my bowl
it's my private little, I have a couple little sets just for when it's just me time, you know, a little bowl and cup set. Okay, here's another one. I've sold this kind of stuff before too. This one's probably 15 to $20. This is from the Guggenheim um, Collab um, Henriksen Imports and hang on, Frank Lloyd Wright. Yes, yeah, sorry. So, you know, kind of like one of his building designs or something. Wait a minute, come in. There. So, I don't know, I just noticed the quality and I've sold this kind of stuff before. So I said, that looks like a Frank Lloyd Wright design. So let's check the bottom. And yeah, there it is. So, half price was 50 cents. So this will probably be, you know, $15. That's worth it. And plus, I just like to sell that kind of architecture stuff. And then this one, oh, 50 cents. This one, uh, this one could go, I don't know what to say about this one. Okay, it's vintage here. Let's just do this. It's vintage. This is the Broncos, but that's their older um, logo, that stallion. That's their older logo. And this is the Super Bowl XX11. I have to figure out what that is. What is that, 22? I don't know. But so this is vintage, and sometimes the their vintage stuff will sell to the you know right person, enthusiast. So I'll add this to the queue with other ones, but I'm thinking right now this is at around $10, $15. Could be more in the future. Who knows? Okay. Uh -huh. So here's something else I learned. Normally I wouldn't have really, this wouldn't really have caught my attention too much, but the, I don't know if the quality comes through on the camera, you guys. If you're new like me, then you just have to realize it's just like looking for clothing, which is my specialty previous and still is quality. So I'm like, okay, there's a quality piece. Check it out. It looked vintagey with this hanger thing on it, right? I'm like, and that's probably a vintagey little setup. <laughs> so a little wire, who knows? So it has a sticker in the back, Bassano, Bassano, B-A-S-S-A-N-O, B-A-S-S-A-N-O made in Italy. So I looked that up. That's a good maker. This little piece now is probably only worth about 10 or so dollars because it's a little tiny, tiny mold. Probably someone hung it on the wall, right? There's the name. Um, but it was a new to me half price. So 125. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try that. And then plus, you know, to remind me to add that to my research that I do every night, add that name and get familiar because some of this stuff was good money. Okay. And <laughs> I have a Shai Chi Shih Tzu and Chihuahua Mother Highway, our dog Highway. Some of you probably already know Highway. So I looked at this. Um, I don't really collect these kind of figurines. It has a sticker on it, Summit Collection. Summit Collection apparently has been making stuff for a long time, like um, figurines and knickknacks and stuff for the tourist industry, it looked like. Don't quote me, it looked like. But this was superior quality than just your typical little cheap import. You could just tell. Let me show you the label. Okay, and the labels probably vary, I would assume, because they've been in business for a while, it seems. This is dated 19, where's my, it's really small, 1996, 96. So this is vintage, right? Just barely. Um, but they make current stuff too, and some of their current stuff, depending on if it's a popular character, is selling for pretty good amounts of money so this is probably only 10 15 dollars and it has to be someone who wants a shih tzu for some reason but let me go back to the quality the quality is there and you'll notice it little details like okay it's kind of like a satin finish right except they took the time to gloss over the nose the eyes and the tongue little details like that and the tongue you can stick your fingernail underneath the tongue it even has the little like like 
split underneath. It's just, you know, you, it's just quality. I don't know if that's going to... Let's be patient for a minute and see if you can see if that'll pick up in detail. Ah, uh, there! You see what I mean? Just a little bit better quality than your average little knick-knack, so... Um, if it doesn't sell, Highway has a little girlfriend. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I think it'll eventually sell. There weren't a lot of Shih Tzus um, on there, but you might want to, if you're learning like me, you might want to look that up too and see all the things because some of the stuff, current, current icons was selling for really interesting prices. Okay, so I was I got a pleasant surprise on these. I would have bought them regardless for personal use or whatever. New with stickers. This is made in Germany, so I just threw them in there. Dollar ninety nine a piece, but no chips or anything. But when I got to looking more carefully at home, it's etched on the side, Wedgwood Vera Wang. So it's a Vera Wang Wedgwood collab. That up to the value of these. So, um. These are probably worth about $10, $12. Some of them are worth more if you go look at the patterns. Um, I've got one earmarked for that I needed. So I think I'll put them both up for sale. I'm not partial to either, either one. Either one's fine with me. I'll put them both up for sale. And whichever one sells first, I'm going to keep the other for something that I needed. But that was interesting, right? So $1.99. And I don't, these will probably sell pretty quick. Vera Wang Wedgwood. Okay, so speaking of Wedgwood, let me put, pull a few more things. We're almost done. Let me pull over a few more things that I had fun with. Okay. There's the Wedgwood. Wedgwood. I'm saying, speaking of Wedgwood. Um, I can't remember if this was this haul or the last haul. Did I already show you guys this? I think I did, didn't I? This was the last haul. I think I just forgot to put it up. Little mink vintage hat. I, I think I did. Okay. So. Okay, let's start with this. Wait a minute. Wedgwood. We were on Wedgwood. So I found uh, my first Wedgwood Jasper Ware. And I found some Jasper Ware. I already bought listed it sold 24 hours for fifty dollars it wasn't a uh, wedgwood this is a wedgwood so but that's how i learned about jasper ware and wedgwood so um this what did i pay i paid 7.99 this was not on sale because this it looked like this clock went for a little bit more above average maybe because of the green color or i don't know it's a small bantle clock and I'll show you that if you're all you are people who are into vintage are laughing at me right now but if you're not and if you're learning like me this is a thing so I wanted to also mark it off my reseller bucket list you know okay I've got did Wedgwood Jasper wear too but some people have this for $500 and some people have sold it for $40 so I have to do more research but this Jasper Ware apparently rises and falls in popularity, and some people are guessing that it's about time for Jasper Ware to like come back up and be popular again. So we'll see. So I haven't tested the clock yet to see if it works. But so that's why I went ahead and bought this Wedgwood. Um hi, hi. okay, let's do this modern piece. Pioneer Woman. I guess the new Paula Dean, I don't know. Pioneer Woman. I know it's sold at Walmart too. This was two dollars. Not it doesn't. It's new, unused. Doesn't have the hang tag, but it still has the sticker on the bottom. And this is a creamer. You are the cream to my coffee. And they sell for they resell for about twelve dollars or so on eBay average. But this no one had the lid, so I don't know. If this is a lid off of something else and someone put it together. But anyways, I think someone's going to like this creamer with its lid or another lid. I don't know. It matches. It's part of the set. Maybe this came off the sugar bowl. I don't know. But $2, I'm pretty sure this will be, you know, $15 quick and easy. And then I can say, okay, I sold some Pioneer Woman. But this is new. Very, very new. Um, I grabbed this Escada Perfume. 
All of their perfumes smell great. I love their clothes. This is the Born in Paradise. I love it. Just showing you. Keeping that for myself. And I got these earrings. I always wanted some cute hoops. Um, let me take one out. Okay, these are real lightweight too. I don't like to wear heavy earrings. I don't want to stretch out my, you know, the openings. Um, these are super lightweight, so they're probably just from Claire's or Walmart for all I know. I don't care. I love these. They're exactly what I've been looking for. Lightweight yet unique. They have hologram, a little hologram wrapping all around them. So, um, usually I just wear my three little silver hoops because I hadn't really found anything cool that I like. So I like these very much. Hang on while I put this back in. Okay, we got a few more items. Got a piece of Murano here. I almost got it, hang on. I know, I didn't have to take it out to show you, right? But, okay. So, <clears throat> Murano, I found out, I just saw this, half price, $4. Nobody was buying it. I think it's because it's supposed to have a lid. And also, as a lot of resellers, me included, you know, we're pretty nervous about shipping this fragile glass. But anyways, research research showed me this is a Murano piece. Most, I haven't found this exact tall one. Most of them were a little bit shorter. The pedestal was a little shorter and it had a lid with like a handle on it. <laughs> Crystal handle. Um, but I still think this is worth $4.00. It's really a little more frilly for my taste if I end up having to keep it. Um, and I'm not sure what it would be good for. Well, your hands, I have a, I'm a tall girl, so I have a big hand. Hand fits in there, okay. I don't know. I did it. We'll see. Um, maybe someone broke their, maybe their lid didn't break, but this part broke. <laughs> I don't know. But I think $4 is good to save a piece of Murano glass, right? Uh, compo, compo, I think is what this style is called. So we're going to try to do something with this. Another item for myself, some little doggy boots, new in package, little doggy socks for highway, $1.50. Um, I always look at tiles. Some tiles are worth money, depending on the artist. And this is made in USA. This is, I don't know how to say it, L. Cooney, Cooney. K-U-H-N-E, here. And this is the one of the ones that's resellable. Prices will vary depending on what this, on the size. This is just a little bit above average size. And the picture, this is Indian hoop dancers. These are nice, kind of relief, sort of, so to speak. Not really, um, but you know, you can feel something in there. And then the glazing. It has information on the back. This size is, again, it's hard to say because it depends on what is on it, right? And what someone's looking for. It could be $15. It could be, I don't know, $40, right? But if you're interested, you can always check these kind of tiles. Um, not just, you know, Indian themes, Southwest, but like Italian ones and just, you know, glazed tiles, designer tiles. Okay, and this I probably could have left behind. It's only going to be worth about $15, $20 currently. It's an Ertl die-cast car. This is from 1991. This is the fourth run on this. Um, it's But it's new in box. I paid $3.49. It's still new in box, so that's going to give it a little bit more value, right? It has the paperwork inside, the certificate. It's perfect. It's a little bank, a mail truck. So they make a lot of die cast stuff. Some things sell for a lot more money. This particular series, not quite so much, but it's helpful that this has never been used. Pristine condition, mint condition, practically, and the certificate in the box. So I'll add it to the queue and wait my turn, okay? Never sold any kind of vintage die cast so okay one more thing this one's pretty exciting six dollars and fifty cents this is a very vintage hand beaded 
hers from France. It's a Joseph. J-O-S-E-F. I will attempt to show you the tag. Is it catching it for you guys? I don't know. But made in France, hand beaded. There's hardly any beads missing. There's embroidery and then beading. I, so far, I only see maybe four or five beads missing, like on a couple corners. And one little rhinestone out of the clasp. I'm not going to let that stop me. Prices on these were anywhere, resale were anywhere from like $40 to $150. We'll see where this one falls in at, okay? But I'm not going to leave something like this behind. It's worth more than $6.50. Hand beaded. Really pretty, you guys. L littlest beads I've ever seen. I'm glass. They look like glass. I'm sure they're glass beads, right? Vintage. Anyways, um, a few clothing items, but nothing, just bread and butter, okay? Nothing really exciting, so let's just skip on that. <sighs> All right, so sorry y'all didn't get to go with me too much on that. It was crazy. So, I'll see you guys later or in one of your videos. <laughs> Have a great day.